My friends, I welcome you here to St. George Church. My name is Father Paul Seaman. I'm pastor here. It's a blessing to be here with you now, being able to pray together. And so we do so in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. We ask that the Lord will bless us, that we may be given the patience of Job, that we may recognize God's hand at work in all things and every aspect of our lives. Lord Jesus, you came to bring us hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring us healing. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you allow us to see and hear your word through faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with great things that I do not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I cannot know. I had heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eye has seen you. Therefore, I disown what I said and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his earlier ones. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 she-asses. And he had seven sons and three daughters. In all the land, no other women were as beautiful as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years, and he saw his children, his grandchildren, and even his great-grandchildren. Then Job died, old and full of years. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. According to your ordinances they stand firm. All things serve you. Lord, let your face shine on me. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. May God's word dwell in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. The 72 disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because of the, sp the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. 
Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see, for I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What a wonderful thing it is to read these words, Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. If only we could be certain, if only we could be sure that that was the case for each of us and for all the people who we love, that our names are written in heaven. There's so many ways that Jesus is calling us to recognize uh, his love for us in this gospel. First of all, the first section of it is really all about faith. Do we have faith in God? And that doesn't mean goofy faith. That doesn't mean the kind of faith that says I can walk out in the middle of the street without watching where I'm going and not worrying about it. No, we have to look to the left, look to the right, just like mom taught us, okay? That is not the kind of faith that Jesus is talking about. But Jesus is talking about the reliance of our lives on the Lord, that we place everything that we are, everything that we have at his service. That's the kind of faith that Jesus is looking for from us. And then it says, that Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit. And then we hear him give almost, it's almost like a song uh, or a psalm where he's praising God, recognizing his Father as the Lord of everything and saying that the realities and the truths of our faith have been revealed to the childlike, not to the great kings, not to the rich people, not to all that, but to the simple people that Jesus was talking to. And of course, Jesus is talking to all of us as simple people, regardless of what our status is in this goofy world. It's about who we are in the eyes of God. And so God's gracious will is that everything has been handed over to Jesus, and we are a part of that everything. And then he reminds us that our eyes have seen, our ears have heard. Are we willing then to accept that faith that started out at the beginning of this reading. Are we willing to recognize the power and the goodness and the love that God has for each of us, even when we see things go sometimes what seems to be crazy wrong, as we heard poor Job. If you ever have a chance to read the book of Job, it's a long one, but it's all about dealing with suffering and evil in the world and how do we then somehow turn that over in trust to God? So let's ask that the Lord will bless us that we may see our names written in heaven. We offer our prayers. We ask that God will bless us that we may lead lives that show to God and to the world our deep and abiding faith and trust in him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a particular way uh, this morning for our president and the first lady and for the others who have been affected by um, COVID-19 in the, the White House circle, but also certainly beyond that to the uh, millions of Americans who have been affected by this virus. And of course, certainly for the over 200,000 people who it has killed. We ask that God will watch over and bless all of us we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That our Lord will help us to recognize the working of God in all things in our life, that we may see his uh, hand at work and that we may hear his word, that we may live. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in gratitude for the people who have passed on the faith to us, that our faith may be real and alive we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are searching for work, for the unemployed, for the underemployed, for those who are seeking their place in society and in life, that they may be given the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord, 
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for um, our parish, and I ask that you please pray for me in a particular way on this weekend, as later today I will be installed as the pastor of St. George on an official basis with Bishop Whippick, that all of us together may be led by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick at homes or in hospitals, and for those who have died, that they may rejoice in seeing God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Mass intention today, the people of our parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all goodness and peace, hear the prayers that we bring before you. Bless us today and every day. Deepen our faith and help us to recognize your loving hand at work in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food and drink. And blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Amen. O merciful God, grant that this, our offering, may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and glorious resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with priests, deacons, religious men and women, seminarians, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint George, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one people, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and you say to each of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. And I pray that the Lord's peace truly will be with you, that you may see and hear his graciousness in your own life and in the life of the people around you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now I invite you to make a spiritual act of communion, asking that the Lord will reveal himself to you deeply, and as I receive the body and blood of Christ, I do so on your behalf, asking that the Lord will hear all the prayers that you offer at this moment.
Let us pray. O Lord, may this heavenly mystery restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this Mass is ended. We go in peace. And thanks be to God. I hope this truly is a blessed day for you. I hope it's a wonderful weekend. I hope you're able to spend some time with people who you love very much and that you feel their love coming back to you as God loves you.